don't do that. It's actually this has nothing to do with comics, <laughs> but it works. But it it's works. cool. <laughs> this is a show where we talk about anything and everything that has to do with young adults. I like my little puppet. <laughs> okay, I want to have a little throwback, and then so we're gonna go back in time and then come back to the present. Alberta has a time machine, by the way, just in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, we're how gonna, we're so do that. let's go. <laughs> we're in the past. It's her. Do you guys remember? <laughs> yeah, it's because she wants to bury it. I think she wants to bury it. She has to bury it. She's so man. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's talk about what we wanted to be when we get older. So, as a child, what did you always say you wanted to be? When you got older, I wanted to be like Toby. Did you know <laughs> Toby when you were younger? I actually have known Toby for years. I've known that Toby is since so I was probably funny. about that like didn't work. It's not gonna help you. She's trying to say I'm old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, well, you are know, around the same age. She's trying to spoil my show. Toby, story. stop it. She knows I wanted to be like Toby. I wanted it didn't to be work. old. Try again. Another time. <laughs> I'll try again in five years. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> By then he'll be much older. Who me? Oh, Toby. Oh, yeah, exactly. It'll work. So then you can say it and it will work. Yeah, but jokes about it. What did you want to be? What did you want to be? Yeah. Um, when I was really young, I actually wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. And How old was this? I think I wanted to be a lawyer between like the ages of like 8 and like 15. Um, because I love to argue. <laughs> and I thought I'd be very good at it. Thing. No, but genuinely, and I was like, I know how to argue a good point, and if they train me better, I would be able to do this very well, and I could make loads of money from doing it. And that's I've never heard this saying. That's why. Um, they know the. I don't know how it goes, but it's like, no one is bad. They just have good lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought I could help the people. Help the criminals, Abby. Help yeah, yeah. Criminals. <laughs> Maybe. He like, like, didn't actually mean to kill him. Well enough, no, he didn't actually mean to kill him. What happened is he slipped and he fell on the knife. Oh. And he just happened to be in the room. Yeah, like, he just happened to be holding up. He actually wanted to cut a cake. Yeah. That's how, <laughs> that was his yeah. birthday That's as well. Like, like, so. yeah. No, you, who are you? What are you on about? That's kind of lawyer she wanted to be. I don't know. What did you want to be though when you were young? I feel like he would have been a good lawyer. <laughs> Genuinely. To, see what Toby was saying right there. He was actually preparing her for it. For a case. Course. I think he has a court case coming up there. <laughs> with a guy and a cake and the birthday cake with a knife. <laughs> I'm preparing for my own case. <laughs> Toby. Okay, we wouldn't we would let people know that you have knives and I birthday like cakes with people. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you want to be though? When I, I, I think I went through a whole different phase of my childhood where I wanted to be different things. The, the age of maybe seven to seven to ten or so I remember I wanted to be well, it was it was a mixture of a shopkeeper which my mom would always say don't tell people you want to be a shopkeeper tell me you want to be a shop manager oh. not a shopkeeper. Oh, so good. make it sound posh but shop because I had I'd gotten this till when I first came to it there was like <laughs> this till thing and I was like I knew how to yeah, cut my cash, cash. And oh, put I the money and make things. sales and stuff. I was like, I'm good at this. Why don't I become this when I grow? Nobody gave gift. I wanted to be a sales girl. <laughs> she was trying to train you how to count, not to make you a sales girl. Oh my goodness! The, the, the toy definitely didn't work. <laughs> she should have seized the toy when she found out you wanted to be a sales girl. Seriously. Tell me, what did you want to be? What's wrong with being a sales girl? What did you want to be? What do you mean? What's, everything is wrong with being a sales girl. Stop that. You can be a sales girl when you're in college. There's actually, there's actually a call, um, uh, uh, I think, a college in, in England. Where they actually send the kids out to be like how to be bartenders and all that, and they tell them because you're gonna need the job when you're in college. We don't train them to be bartenders, right? We only train okay. them to do that for college. You know, everyone gets but a job. Can turn that into career. Get to a career. Yeah. Like, you can go from being be, yeah. you can go from being a yeah. bartender to owning your own bar and yeah. being yeah. Major one bar owner. Yeah. Bar. I used to be a bartender. I would say a lot of them used to be bartenders before they became bar owners. Bartenders always end up being old people that drink a lot. No. Uh, that's not always. always. Come on. That's just, no. Ladies that and gentlemen, we're in Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. But jokes about no. what I actually wanted to be when I was young was very funny. Because um, growing up in Nigeria, when you're going from nursery 2, mm -hmm. yeah, nursery 2 to primary 1, you always do this kind of little graduation. Now I'm going to take everybody down that memory lane. Oh, yeah. So you know, we always prepare with. I am a doctor in my country. <laughs> Everybody know me well. Uh -huh. If you look me up and down, you <laughs> will know it 
is true. So, uh, uh, oh my god, I'm like, yeah, yeah. that works. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what happened was everyone was preparing for what they wanted to do and all that. I didn't know what I actually wanted to do, and I told my teacher, like, Can I switch it up on the day? And she actually agreed that yes, on the day, you can do whatever you want. So, oh my you know, preparation day, everyone's getting ready. We all got a gown. Long story oh. short, my mother didn't show up. Uh-huh. She was at home with Africans that came to come and visit us from Africa. I won't say our village, but I was really pissed that day. Oh. Yeah, my granny showed up though, but I was a bit upset about it that my mom didn't show up. Mm-hmm. So when everyone was thinking, uh, my doctor, I just got there and I started frowning and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone started laughing. Oh. And everyone thought it was a joke, but I was actually upset. <laughs> and I just moved on and I found out that okay, people like laughing at everything I do. So I just thought I wanted to be an entertainer. Ah. Did you sing that? I didn't sing. I just I when everyone was singing, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when it was my turn to sing, I just went, mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. She thought I was going to sing. I didn't sing, and then everyone started laughing like, what's wrong with this kid? And they thought it was funny. But after that, I just said, well, everyone was always laughing at everything I do in the street. So I just said, okay, maybe I would be an entertainer. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do, but I always knew I wanted to entertain people. people. I didn't know, I don't know, I'm not a comedian, <laughs> but I knew I was always going to do something. Can I ask, oh, sorry, what's the that, difference between an entertainer and a comedian? What's the difference between a clown at your birthday party <laughs> and an MC at uh, uh, the president's inauguration? Two things are different places. Yeah. yeah, I don't wear well, this. <laughs> yeah, but jokes apart, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, but don't wear your outfits either. Well, they kind of take a piece out of themselves just to make money. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Mm-hmm. But okay. I kind of felt that, you know, I wanted to be an entertainer. So from a young age, I just said anything that has to do with entertainment, I would get involved. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? Well, <laughs> I Change. wanted to be everything and <laughs> different things at the same time. At first, I was like, I wanted to be a fashion designer. I think this was around when I was eight or something. And then it was I wanted to be a teacher because I love one of my teachers so much that she was so Aww. good. Aww, and then so the nice. next one was I wanted to be a pilot. Oh my god, I went through like so many things I wanted to be. But then you know you have you have this thing with parents where they already know what they want you to do. My uh, mom was always like, Oh doctor, this doctor. My brother decided they're gonna be engineers or something. And then my brother was Reverend Pastor. Hey <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Your brother wanted Damn. to be a reverend no, pastor. My mom was saying, you know, that kind of, you know, where, where she wanted your brother to be a reverend pastor. A reverend pastor, engineer, Obino. My brother's name is Obina, so it's like engineer Obino or doctor, Mrs. Oluchi. You know, that kind That's of way. That's girl. Oh my God. Can actually see a lawyer? Wow. I'm just like, wow. wow. Oh, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I why really, did you laugh when you asked that question? Oh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, it's just because wow. she said, you know, African parents always have that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I was. I, I always try to I preach on my mom. I always ask her, what did you think I was going to be? I think she knew I was never going to do anything she wanted because I was pissed about that day. Oh, wow. And, and I still actually hold that day. Every time I tell my brother, like, she's like, oh, I'm going to my brother, your brother's graduation. I'm like, well, guess what? You're lucky she's coming to yours. <laughs> Man, she did. Oh, she did. my God. I, 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 didn't, I, I don't think I'm ever going to let her go. It's not That's that I'm upset about it. Sorry. It's just as a kid then, everyone's parents actually showed up. Aww. And I was like, this woman didn't show that one thing. All you have to do is don't show up when they're saying PTA meeting. So you know how trouble someone else. Don't show up for that one graduation. And she did. But she actually made it up to me when I graduated from college. She tried oh, to set the good. party. Yeah. Uh, that that party. <laughs> but it was made up to you, so don't worry. Yeah, yeah. at least it was a party in your name, yeah. you know, just yeah. for her. That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> well, going back to what you said, your pa- your mom had her idea of yeah, I mean, what her kids wanted mm-hmm, to be. Mm-hmm. Is that like a general thing for everybody? I feel like every parent has this thing where they're saying, okay, when my child grows up, I think I want them to be... Uh, my With mine, I don't, my parents never really said anything to me that, oh, when you grow up, I think you should be... With my sister, I noticed, and I think it's what she wants to be, but at the moment, my, my parents seem to be leaning her towards, you're going to be a lawyer, you're going to be a lawyer. And she seems to actually want to be a lawyer, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I'm like, is that more a parental view, or mm-hmm. have your parents ever, like, pushed a hmm. career path on you? <laughs> um, well, no, like, I wanted to be a lawyer when I was younger, and then, but just with growing up, I realized that I wanted to study psychology. And um, I remember telling my dad, <laughs> oh, goodness, I remember telling my dad that I changed my mind. And I don't know, I think it just kind of came out one of these like family discussions and it's like, 
also you know this one wants to do this whatever and i was like actually i'm not i don't want to be a lawyer anymore my dad was like what <laughs> he was like excuse me i was like yeah you know i just i changed my mind and he was he was not impressed mm. at all at all and i think that's like one of the times that i realized that my parents were like nigerian <laughs> or maybe my dad because my mom was like oh okay but um no my dad was not not happy he was like so what can you do with that i was like well <laughs> It's like going and saying, Mom, I want to be a musician. Like, I was what like, are you going to do as a musician? <laughs> so he was just, I think he was just, he just never expected it. And then, he never expected it. He never expected it. Never expected it. it was a deadly day. It definitely was a deadly day. <laughs> so, um, oh my we goodness. just had to push through that. And I think I'm quite stubborn anyway. So um, Yes, we've established that. I'm sure. quite stubborn. So, <laughs> like, my mind wasn't going to be swayed by him. Because I had already decided at that point... And after a few tries, I think he realized that it wasn't wasn't gonna happen. It was then psychology all the way. He let me have it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just okay. I wasn't gonna wear wig. <laughs> what? You know that wig they always wear. Like, the lawyers. Those things are awful. Yeah. Those things are awful. They look itchy. Some people actually wear them. But yeah, to court. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they still? Do they still wear wigs? They still stuff do to that. Yeah. You know, one in Nigeria is weird. The one over here is actually alright. It's not that bad. <laughs> Well, it's funny when they're wearing a wig and then they wear that one on top. It's like double wig. <laughs> did your mom ever push anything on you? I know you wanted me, to be an entertainer no, from no, a young age. No, she, but how did she feel about she, that? Um, well, she kind of she saw it coming. Yeah. Because in church, I was always that kid who was ready to do anything, apart from read the Bible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know when you have to recite something in church. Yeah. Well, it was recite. Nah, it's not working with me. But if you want me to act as Jesus, uh, you <laughs> oh it. my goodness! So she knew that okay, he was always gonna do something that had to do with entertainment. Mm-hmm. And growing up, I grew up around a lot of entertainers. Like for example, I learned how to speak Yoruba from watching Yoruba movies. Okay. Because at home we never spoke Yoruba, so it was something that she knew that like, <coughs> if it has to do with entertainment, he's definitely gonna be good at it. Mm-hmm. So she kind of just went with it, and she knew that she was gonna just wait for my siblings my younger brother and push and it on them yeah, but speaking about pushing she actually pushed it on my younger brother and that's the only time i like it's okay spiritual things kind of work like you know when parents prophesy things mm-hmm. right because when we moved to ireland we used to live in a house and the owner of the house actually was an irish rugby player professional rugby oh, player he played for ireland and so my mom being an african lady said come come and she put her legs on his leg and said i want to prophesy on my kids they're gonna be they're gonna play for ireland now as a Nigerian kid, I was like, oh, what's rugby? Who, who, who do I know that plays rugby? It's a football. I'm like, get away. This guy looks big like a giant. I don't care. And she actually put my brother's leg on, his, on the guy's on the foot. And my brother actually cannot play for Wesley. He's really, I mean, he received an award in his school that a guy who plays for Ireland received that award when he was an easier. I didn't think it was good. And then one day I actually said it to her. I was like, remember you actually prophesied about him being a rugby player? And she never knew that. We never saw it coming that my brother would be a rugby player. Oh, wow. So it looks yes. like it kind of works sometimes when they pray about it. Sometimes. The power of prayer, yeah, yeah. you know. That's amazing. That's pretty yeah. cool. Okay, we're going to take a break right now. And when we get back, we'll discuss more about what is it that we wanted to do and where are we actually now? Welcome back. Right now, we're talking about the things that we wanted to be when we were younger and what are we now? Did we grow up to be, like I said, I wanted at some point, I wanted to be a shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a shopkeeper. I went through that phase, by the way, and it, it went. I decided other things that I wanted to be, got to a stage, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer, just like you. Mm-hmm. But I think that was just a... Everybody thinks I'd be a lawyer. I was a chatterbox, so a lot of people kept saying, Loretta, you make a good lawyer. I considered it. It wasn't me. Then I said I wanted to become an accountant. This was in secondary school. I was really good at accountancy in secondary school. Straight A's. Really good. That was you. Mm-hmm. Straight A's, baby. Mm-hmm. And then I got to college, and it was not the same thing as secondary school, so I decided, no, accountancy is not for me. I heard my mom did accountancy for a bit, and she said to me, I don't know if she was trying to put me off, but she said, basically, it's a 9 to 5 kind of job, sitting at the desk, and I knew that wasn't kind of my personality. Um, and then got to college and decided, let's give marketing a go. It means interacting with people. So I interacted with people. But let me hold mine for a bit. I'll tell you where I'm going with this, but I want to know what your, what changed your mind, first of all, and then I'll tell you about it. What changed your mind from going from 
um, a lawyer to psychology? Um, so before I went off to university, well for a while actually, um, because my parents are um, preachers. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, so when I was younger, I spent a, a lot, a lot of time in church, a lot. And um, my favorite part of the ministry was the children's ministry. Mm-hmm. So I spent a lot of time with the children. I was um, a Sunday school teacher for six years. <laughs> like so what the last is funny about that? Actually, I don't know why that's so funny. What is funny? funny? Tell me. I apologize for interrupting your story. What? No, tell me why you're laughing first. I don't want to be rude. I'm a gentleman. Go on. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was. Uh, for a very very long time I was um, a Sunday school teacher in church and I just I was I was very I, I the way I thought was very different to the way other teachers did and I don't know maybe it's because I was also young myself but I found the children very fascinating with the questions that they would ask and I thought children are really 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 intelligent and people just never get gave them the chance you know mm-hmm. so um it was I think it was just from spending so much time with them that I realized I wanted to be a psychologist but I at that time I wanted to be a child psychologist and um, I decided that was it. I was going to be a child psychologist and like help these children in any way that I could. And when it's time to pick, I decided um, that I'd just choose general psychology because then I can narrow down. I didn't want to narrow um, kind of my opportunities right from yeah. the start. So I decided to go into general psychology and now I'm going into my final year. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! So that's what she's doing right now. Yes. Why I asked yours first is mm-hmm. my, my decision was quite odd i went from a lot of it was business like but i went down the business road and the marketing and accountancy road because i think in my head i didn't originally see it before but later on i realized it was more what my parents did like my mom was a businesswoman very strong businesswoman and i wanted to be like her so i was like anything she's doing i want to do but that was kind of subconsciously i didn't realize that was what i was doing mm-hmm. and i am now very much into not really entertainment but I love anything that has to do with TV shows hello hello (laughs) and just media in general when it comes to communicating with people and interacting with people that's what I thought I would gain out of doing marketing Mm -hmm. and studying it was different from actually practicing it Mm -hmm. and when it came to it really I said any any kind of thing that has to do with me interacting with people communicating with people that was what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And and now I just like anything that has to do with communicating with people, interacting with people, which in general is like media and stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at now and trying to establish myself in that kind of environment as opposed to I need to be a business, corporate, suited kind of. I still will be because I like the whole suits and stuff. So I think it's cute. It's cute. Yeah. So like me, you kind of had a diverse, multi- <laughs> multi career path yeah. <laughs> so where, what did you finally decide <laughs> well it was actually i said i wanted to do medicine i wanted to be a doctor and then so you I followed your mother's no path. well not completely <laughs> at some stage i was like i was more fascinated with as in how the medicine works in the body and how it's you know produced and all that kind of way so i decided to go for pharmaceutical science Ooh, she's a fine she girl yeah wow. okay. <laughs> but i think what led to that was the fact that first of all i hated taking tablets i hated taking medicine anything even when i was sick i would you know throw it up or something like that so i was fascinated with why i had to take that and what exactly it was doing you know to me or to my body or yeah. you know that kind of way so that was why i was more fascinated with that instead of doing or instead of being a doctor so that's why i Decided to do pharmaceutical science. Fair play. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And do you love it though? I like it, but at the same time, I did biology, chemistry, and physics. Fun. But (laughs) (laughs) I enjoyed physics more than I enjoyed biology and chemistry. Oh, interesting. So I feel like I could have pursued physics more and enjoyed it more than doing pharmaceutical science for because of the fascination with chemistry and medicine and all that so that's mm-hmm. why I'm do you think you'd ever change and go probably for I'm, physics? Still, I'm still a young 
lady. Of I course. Can, I can still do whatever at I heart. want. So that's it. The sky is the limit. Do you say at heart? Like she's not a young lady in real life. <laughs> Hello, Loretta. I was hoping she would catch up. Right here on the road, she's snitching everybody. To <laughs> I'm not one. snitching. I'm not even catching up on her. Trying to see me. What is even catch up with that? Well, what are you doing? Tell me. I feel like you. You're actually just a snitch. So <laughs> <laughs> that's your own. Unless you're your career us now. What you're doing? No, I'm not a snitch. But um, yeah, I kind of. Like I said, I always knew I wanted to be an entertainer and uh, growing up I felt like I didn't need to go to school to be an entertainer. I was that guy that, mom, I don't need to go to school. I know what I want to do. You're one of those, wow. one of those guys. Oh, wow. so Educate yourself. <laughs> she kind of like talked me into, listen, you need to go to school. And I felt like, okay, we, as an African, we'll just go to school for our parents, that kind of thing. But I tried it for my first year, I dropped out because mm -hmm. I was like, nah, this is not for me. And before I before I went to college from secondary school, I had a gift. I was good at business, but I said I'm never gonna be a businessman. Business I'm gonna own a couple of businesses, but I would not be the guy in the office. Mm -hmm. I would just invest in the business and you know get the right guys to go to school and run it for me. I was that kind of guy. But I knew the guy I could get my hands dirty when it comes to business. So everyone thought in school I was gonna be that business kid. I got a scholarship from Back of Ireland to go to any college to do business because I we had this demand, wow. this competition for kids in school and basically me being a business kid, we just had to come up with a quick way to make money and make sure your business was legit and all that. And all I did was just go home, I bought a couple, and you had to like write down how you did it. I bought a couple of CDs from a two-year shop for like, I bought like five, like five year worth of CDs and I just downloaded music on them and I sold them in school for two quid. So I did it because I just thought it was, come on, just, that's easy for me, but yeah. they really like, you know, looked into it and they were like, okay, this is someone who has business potentials, mm -hmm. and I was always good at selling things like that, mm -hmm. so, but I knew I wasn't going to go to school for that. Long story short, mm -hmm. dropped out of school first year, my mom spoke to me, no, you need to go to school, I spoke to a couple of my uncles, and one of my uncles who really changed my life said something to me, he goes, college, you don't go to college to actually study what you, what you want to be in life, you go to college to learn the main principles of being an adult in life mm -hmm. and that was why when I went to college I just wanted to mingle with people apart from Nigerians I wanted to explore the world I wanted to see what it'd be like um I genuinely don't know I don't know I guess it's one of those things that you can't say like what if because it already happened and there's no kind of yeah. other way around it really I genuinely don't know what could have happened if I if I hadn't gone down that path or if I hadn't like been there with the kids and had that interaction so I really I really don't know so there was never anything that was like just inevitable for you that ah sure at the end of the day psychology was it was that was it it was just meant to be psychology maybe like even right now I'm I'm finishing up my um, undergrad and I don't think I'm going to end up being a psychologist maybe not right now things could change but right for now what do you think if you're not going to be if you don't think you're going to be a psychologist then what would you what do you think would would be next for you when you graduate um, I don't know. I'll just see like what life holds. Like I, I don't, I don't like putting myself in a box to be mm. honest. So I'm quite free spirited. So we'll see where life takes me. Okay. And if it takes me back to psychology, then it takes me back to psychology. But if it doesn't, I wouldn't be disappointed either. So. We'll so see. in terms of, I'm just wondering, like, with you're gonna get, you're gonna get your degree in psychology mm. and move on to other things. But is, because where I'm going with this is not a lot of people find we finish college and we do. We have our degree, but not a lot of people actually use that degree to do what they want to do. End up buying somewhere else. Like I got a business degree, and I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm in TV. Yeah. Like I, what I want to do, what I end up having a passion for, was media. Mm -hmm. So not everybody that gets out of college and has that degree actually uses it for what they're doing at the moment. Yeah. It probably has nothing to do with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel if whatever you're doing at the moment, do you feel you need to go? back to school to get that degree or you you have to use your degree in in your life or is it pointless if you get the degree and you don't use it for anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so especially with the degree that I'm going to be getting when I'm graduated by God's grace amen mm -hmm. like um, psychology and counseling and mm -hmm. I genuinely feel like even if I don't use it in that format of you know like I'm looking for a career in this I'm climbing up this career ladder that's fine with me because I've learned so many important life skills from it and I feel yeah. like I'm a better communicator for it, I'm a better listener and like I can sit down with somebody and counsel them for like whatever it is so I feel like I've learned so much and I'm going to be using it regardless of whether or not somebody is asking for the degree behind it being like oh you can only do this job like I'm going to be using everything that I've learned throughout mm. the years. 
for the rest of my life. So I'm happy with it. Shop pastor's wife. Excuse me, sorry, what? Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like no, I can't just you can't you know, see. I mean, you I mean, can't, can't cancel okay. people in church. Shop pastor's wife yeah. job is to just tell me. If you want to have a sit down with me, like you know, just do it now before I graduate, and you won't have to pay. So just give me a free session here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not joking. I'm mentally okay. So I don't Are you sure? Like she can analyze. We can sit down and analyze. It's free. I have a couple of people I can send to you, but not me. I'm okay. He's gonna out people again. What about you, Anuchi? What you What do you think? Like, would you end up? Do you see yourself using? your degree at the end of the day or like you said you kind of found physics a bit more interesting now mm -hmm. so do you think you're going to end up diverging towards something else or even if you divert would it have been would it have felt pointless to you to get that degree in the first place well doing pharmaceutical science i think i learned a lot from it i definitely did learn a lot from it but right now i feel like i can still use it i can work with my degree and still go back and do whatever I want. Like I could go back and do masters. I can go and do a PhD if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. There's just so many things I can do with my degree right now. But at the same time, I don't feel like I have to only have that degree mm -hmm. in pharmaceutical science. I still have other interests like physics, like I said, or between being a pilot or a yeah, fashion designer. Yeah. At yeah. some point, I think I wanted like to be that. a stewardess as well. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, sure, I'll throw that, that in there. <laughs> that was so, th you know, there's so many things, you know, you can do with a degree or pursue so, so much stuff, like, you know. Mm. But, like I said, the sky is the limit. There's I love so that. <laughs> to do. The sky is the limit. I think that's a statement that made I want to be a pastor and pilot. <laughs> <laughs> But I do like that phrase, the sky is the limit. So whatever it is that you want to be in life, whether it's from your childhood or even something you've decided on right now, mm -hmm. anything can happen. And if you decide along the way that you've got this degree in your hand and you feel the need to use it, it might not be something you need to use, it might just be something that you needed to have to learn and or to experience something, or to learn something. If you have other passions that you want to do, go ahead and pursue them. If you have anything to say at all, or any comments that you want to make about what we've spoken about today, do tweet us at convo underscore time, and there's our Facebook, Convo Time, and we've also got Instagram. Post your pictures on Convo Time. See you.